Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Still segment here at Trimble. And today I'm going to introduce a new plate command that's available in Tecla Structures version 2019. So if I come up to the plate drop down here, you'll see this new option to create a standalone bent plate. And unlike the previous two bent plate commands, this one does not require any input parts. So I don't have to pick two plates or two faces to be able to insert this bend or this radius there within the model. So let's go ahead and activate the command and then I'll just follow the prompts in the bottom left hand corner. So let's zoom in here where we want to begin modeling. So I'll click to insert my center point and now I can come over and define my start point. And you'll notice here new in version 2019 is you're using direct modification. You'll notice that as I click and drag here on the Y axis you can see that that line and text is in green. If I come over to the X axis, that line and the text will be in red. And then if I come up here to my Z axis, you can see that the line and the text is in blue. So it's giving me a visual indicator as to which axis I'm modeling in for better accuracy. So I can come in and click and drag. And as soon as I click, it will define the start point or I also have the option to key in a value. So if I type in 36 there on my keyboard, that's where that start point will be. And if I zoom in here closer, you'll notice now I can drag my mouse and it will increase the angle and the length values there. So it's giving me a preview of this bottom portion of this standalone bent plate that I'm creating. So if I click there at 58 degrees, then I can come in and I can rotate my model a little and now I can easily define my height. So again, I can key in a value or I can use the direct modification and just click a location there within the model. And then let's rotate around and we can come in and define the radius that we want up here at the top. So let's say that we want this to be 9 inches. I'll go ahead and click there. And now you'll notice here in the bottom left hand corner it says click the left mouse button to change the direction or middle mouse button to complete the command. So if I hit the left mouse button, you can see there the preview. It will give me an inverse, so creating a larger cone shape there instead of just the single pie shape. If I click the left mouse button again, you can see that it goes back just to that individual piece. So I like that. So I'll just go ahead and hit the middle mouse button and then it will insert this standalone bent plate for me in the model. And now with direct modification on, I can come in and I can begin modifying this shape. So if I click on this three foot value here, I could come in and change that to 24, for example. If I wanted to modify up here and change this down to six, I could do that or I could bump that up to 12 inches. I can come in and modify the height. So if I wanted to make this taller, let's say that we push this up to three feet, I can do that. Or again, I can come in and change that back down to the two feet as the original shape that we were working on. Now, another thing that I can do with the direct modification is I can grab the edge and I can begin clicking and dragging. And you can see the angular values that are changing there on screen. So I can do that. Or I can come in just like everything else and key in a value. So let's say we want to make that 90 degrees. So I'll punch that in. And now I have that shape. If we zoom in here a little closer, you'll notice that at the top and the bottom, I have this extra handle in between my two points that I can click and drag and begin modifying further the geometry of the shape. So let me rotate my model here and I can click this node and we'll just drag this down. Let's say that we want to take this down to eight inches then I can just release that and then now it's modified that shape and now I have two additional handles in between there that I can click and drag if I need to do further modification to that shape and then one of the nice things about this is of course we're able to create an unfolded drawing of this so let's go ahead and create that drawing Currently, I'm using the US Imperial environment. I'm going to use the bent plate settings which will automatically create the unfolded shape of this plate and to make this easier to read, I'll just hit B on my keyboard there so we can see this more clearly. So here I have the shape that's defined. You can see that I have my radius values, my bend angle that's identified there. There in the dotted line, you can see that's where the bend location is. And then, of course, if I wanted to create just a regular isometric view, I could do that using my traditional drawing settings. So let's go ahead and close and save this. And now let's look at a real world scenario where we would use this standalone bent plate command. So I received this image a while ago from one of our customers where they wanted to define the individual seams and break this up into individual plates to create this hopper. And so we can use the standalone bent plate to create these types of shapes. So let's go ahead and build that over here. So let's go ahead again and let's activate our standalone bent plate command. 
I'll define my center point, then I can come up and define my radius, and then I can drag this around or I can just key in the value. So let's just go ahead and make this at 90 degrees and I'll click there. And then we can define the height. So let's say we want this to be five feet tall. I can key that in. And then we can define this other radius. I wanna make this the exact same. So let's just set that at 15 feet and I'll hit my middle mouse button. And then just for continuity, let's go ahead and change the color so that we can more easily see the shape that we're gonna create. So here I have the standalone bend plate that's been created. If I want, I can come in here and I can copy rotate this around. So let's just choose my center rotation point, how many copies we want. Let's define the angle of rotation at 90. Go ahead and click copy. And now using this bent plate command, I can define where I want these seams of these plates to be. And then as I click on these, of course, I can come in and modify any of the values that I want. So let's go ahead and continue on. So let's change the color of these plates. Let's go ahead and make this a different color of blue. Now what we can do is begin that upper portion. So let's start our work point up five feet. Then we'll come over and we'll set the radius to be the same at that 15 feet. Drag this over. Again, we can make this 90, so I'll just key that in. Go ahead and click there. We can define the height. So let's go ahead and make the height at 15 feet. And then this top radius portion, we can set this to be something a little smaller. So let's go ahead and set that to be eight feet. Hit the middle mouse button. And now I have this plate in here created for me. And then I can do the same thing. So let's go ahead and right click, copy, rotate. We have the same center point at 90 degrees. We'll just copy that around. And then if I want, I can move these plates so that the seams aren't lined up. So let's go ahead and grab these top ones and let's move, rotate, change my representation. There's my center point, and let's just offset these by 15 degrees, for example. All right, so now if I change back my representation, we can see these seams are not overlapping anymore. And then due to time, what I've done to complete the rest of the hoppers, I've just wrapped up the rest of that information into a custom component, so I can just activate that command, click to insert, and then I have that shape similar to what was shown there in the image that we were originally looking at. So let's go ahead and create an unfolded drawing so we can see the cutout here in that plate. So let's go ahead and create a single part drawing of that one plate. I'll open up the document manager so we can open up the drawing. And here we can see the geometry of the plate. We can see the opening that's there. So if you needed to use this to create a wraparound template, you'd be able to do that with this new powerful command. So as mentioned, this is available in Techo Structures version 2019. As always, we invite you to try it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development. Music